All right, on to triage for Wix Online meeting number seven on October 17th. Here we go, off to the website. All right, here's our issue tracker. Um, 6.37, one of these days I'm going to write down the um, where we left off, and then I'll remember uh, what how we were doing in the end. So this week I actually got a couple bugs from people that they wanted to see covered, so let's do that first. Um, oh, so... Um, this was discussed here. Interesting. Well... Display NGEN Progress UI. I think that would be great if we can do it. It's a blind call to NGEN. I don't. I, we could do fake, you know, CA progress. I was going to say, I don't think they actually give you feedback if you're showing out to an external executable. Yeah, no. progress messages are sent to the file name, are sent, although the file name is not posted to action text. So, yeah, I remember I looked at the code. <laughs> hey, look, it's me. Um, yeah, progress messages are sent. It, I think they come back as um progress. Anyway, there's a way of doing it, it looks like. So, I would say we would take this in 3x if someone did it, right? Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, so, cool. Take that. All right. So, oh, cool for 3x. Assembly folder is missing when running x64 misbuilt. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we don't set these 64-bit assembly folders keys. Yes, because we don't install 64-bit. Right. That's right. And look, Bob, this is probably you. We cut the 64 bit. Yes, that was me. Yes. So this would mean bringing back the 64 bit MSI. Or is a 64 bit MSI? Sorry, a. Mean... not not the a, and we could write this one reg key. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, I hate that. Um, but it's obviously yeah. We removed the 64 bit MSI because it was. Well, I felt pretty silly to have two basically duplicate packages. Um, in this case, we're now in Burnland, so adding a 64-bit MSI just for this is doable. Feels really silly to be working around MSI like this, um, but it's something apparently we need to do. And it, so, uh, J John Cooper brings up the fact that it affects the build servers, TFS 2010 build servers. Is that because they're they're standardized on X64, John? Yeah, they they run yeah. MS Build, the 64 bit MS Build. Um, so I yeah, we should fix this. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know when you want it. Um. All right, so this is a perfect opportunity for someone to step up really quick, create an MSI. I know all you guys know how. You guys have been using Wix for a long time. So I want to drop in, create an MSI, get a 64-bit thing, because Bob and I are not bored. Because <laughs> I'm doing the 2013 thing. It'd be great. Anyway, so do you want 3.8 or 3x? Uh, let's put it in 3.8 for now. Okay. We're, we'll let's do that triage one of these days that will push bugs out, so I guess we'll see. Exactly. All right. 3.8 it is. Um, last issue. Um, this was actually closed previously. Um, and the comments all down here. You can't print twice from Print Eula. Um, and at Fire Giant, we have someone that can reproduce this. And we've actually got it reproducing on one of our machines inconsistently, <laughs> which has made it very, very challenging. Uh, we actually have, have a partial, well, we have a cleanup of the code um, that I'd like to push, that I'd like to send to 3.8 if you guys would be willing to um, take a look at it. it. It cleans up some memory leaks and a uh, window uh, class not getting deregistered, and we think that's the thing that's getting the print EULA to get confused. It's very, it, it, it's very challenging, but because it doesn't reproduce inconsistently. It doesn't reproduce consistently. 
even uh, even on the machines that do repro it at all, it's not consistent. Um, not clear to me. The customer hasn't been clear whether they reproduce it. It doesn't reproduce on all machines, but on the machines it does reproduce, it's not clear that they happen all the time. Okay. We that. had a consistent repro on one of our machines until it got rebooted. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then I got it on another machine, and that one machine was inconsistent for me. So then I was trying the fix, and I couldn't get it to repro. Uh, Jacob has a good question. Uh, which OSs are we talking? Uh, I had it reproing for a short time on Windows 8.1. Um, we had it on, uh, I think, a Win Seven box too. So I, I don't know. I don't know that it's limited at all. Interesting. Anyway, uh, the, yeah. The upside, of course, is that the fixes we're doing are actually good fixes. They do clean up. Yeah, and right. Stuff like that. So it, that's a good thing. Yeah, it's it's isolated as well. It is. I'm, I'm you know. Print Yula doesn't work worse. I can tell you that. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Any difference between debug and release builds? No, not that we've seen. It's still very inconsistent. Uh, I'm I'm fine with taking this in three eight. If, okay. If the the weird thing is that it looks like the create window call is failing, but it's coming back and it's not creating a window. But then it's also not giving us last error code either. So we're getting zero for error, last error code, but we also don't have an H wind inside this. And it's just like oh, it very frustrating in the few times that it does repro. Anyway, that's what that bug is about. Should I sign this to FireGiant? Please. Uh, because it was on triage, we couldn't, or because it was closed, we couldn't take it. Now done. Thank you. And you'll see that uh, probably by Monday. All right. Those don't help us with this part of the list at all, but that's okay. Carry on, carry on. Wix PDB path. Yeah. yeah I remember I when we added this. I know, I know. I uh, uh, since we added it, um, every group that I've worked with, directly or indirectly, has said, "How do I remove this?" <laughs> so, uh, you know, the, the 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 interesting bits, as I say, are in the PDB. Um, that is separately controllable. Uh, S build info. Everyone's using it. Let's just make it a no op, and and you know, turn off the property. All right, so that's one thing. What if we kept it for, what if we just kept the PDB name? Um, and that would allow us to do things like you can with XE, where it's basically like, you know, you rename the MSI, you know, because it got put in a burn bundle or whatever you did, but we would be at least be able to find the original PDB name, even though most of the time it's the same as the MSI name. I think that's the problem. Most of the time it's the same. And where you're renaming it, you're renaming it separately from where you're going to be dropping the MSI. Right. Yeah, next I, to I'm the, just thinking. I'm just thinking. Xe's have this, right? You know, an Xe you can rename the Xe, but the PDB stays the same. The PDB name yeah. stays the same, and then it can find it. Right. Right. Um, I, I think the basic objection is adding stuff to the package. Oh. The the, the base objection is oh it might disclose something yeah that I that yeah whatever uh, yeah um, uh, I think the next level down is we're adding stuff to the package that is you know viewable by anyone with with uh, orca so yeah but yeah okay anyway I'm just wondering if the PDB name would be useful because XEs have the same thing in them. If you go look in the XE, you can find the original file name. So it's not like you're giving any more information than that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, uh, and that's why I think the next level down is with an XE, you're, you know, you're playing around with slightly more esoteric tools than Orca. Slightly. <laughs> not, no. Yeah. So. So Jacob's actually when you actually use this, and it, it basically comes down to, can we find the PDB from the MSI? Because um, there are a lot of cases where having the PDB could be helpful um, when dealing with the MSI. I, I don't feel strongly. It's just, you know, I, I XEs do this, and you can kind of see the whole, I have this MSI. I need to find the PDB. 
it's been stuck in this bundle and renamed, right? And the bundle is, you know, yes, you still have to go find the PDB in its path, but at least you would know what name of PDB you're looking for. I guess that that's the only thing. But I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't matter. It's an extra property in your MSI that you probably would never use. Yeah, well, and that yeah, there's a little bit of that too. It's like, you know, Wix is really good about not pulling in empty tables, for example, unless they're necessary. Ooh, ooh we so. could add another table and put it there. <laughs> um. uh, actually, truthfully, if if we had done that, if we had done that originally, um, I I might just say, yeah, it's it's not a property. It's not something that people. I mean, obviously, people can still see it in Arca, but they, you know, it's just like it's a it's a property. It's listed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I've written bunches of tools that use the PDBs, and I've never used this property. All right, fine. Then I had one where I was using it, but you could just have to specify the PDB path, and it'll probably be fine. So yeah. All right. It's really nice sometimes. The PD, I love the P, having the the extra data in the PDB. That's handy. No, yeah, Jake is like, don't make it the default. No, if we're not doing it, we're not doing it. So, yeah, well, that was the other. I thing. don't want like, more junk. Yeah, yeah, I hate the the uh, no. few times that we've switched. Um, we switched the defaults. Yeah, like vital and stuff like that. It's just it kind of clutters up the the tools. Makes everything a mess for a while. So yeah. All right, now yeah, that's fine. I all right. I assume you're taking that three eight because it's gonna be easy to chop out. Yeah, I'll take yeah, that. Okay. All right, installation with auth proxy is failing. This makes me sad. <sighs> that means that. The, uh, the Wix toolset BA isn't correctly handling the auth callback from burn, or that burn isn't handling the auth proxy itself. I don't know which. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I thought that was mostly automatic. Yeah, you have to just say, you have to, you have to tell burn it's okay to throw a UI on top of your UI or something like that to get the default IE behavior. Right. Um, either that, either that, or their proxy is not returning a standard error code. Yeah, I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if our UI is not, RBA is not returning the right thing. Um, so we should be able to fix this in three X. We probably should at some point. It would be good if we did. Yep. I, it's not a breaking change. Zip file is not available. Yeah. If we can close this now, they're right. All of the zip files from our server got nuked for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, it's like the ISP went through and just deleted zip files because they felt like it or something. I, I I didn't worry about it. It's for old builds. The new build has it. The latest build has the zip files. I'm like, all right, whatever. So um, I think we can just make this bug accepted. It got deleted by our ISP, and the new ones will have it. And yes, we're looking at moving ISPs. This actually was like kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back here. <sighs> cool. Works for me. Please to say uninstallation complete. We had people talking about this before. Yeah. Is there not a feature open on this already? There might be. Um, so anyway, yeah. Fine, we can talk about all that and the appropriate way to localize all that stuff and uh, yeah, pain in the butt and get the Western BA to do it without creating a whole other pages and all that kind of stuff. So it's a reasonable feature request if it isn't open already. Disallow to run more than one instance simultaneously. Yeah, this is, oh yeah, right, this was a... right. Bug that should have been a feature. Sure. Yeah, if you want to come up with some way of creating a mutex to prevent the two installs from happening at the same time or something like that. 
And Jacob brings up the point of what happens when bundles chain other bundles, and that will be an, a fascinating problem to solve with this. And there are, it's not as simple as, yeah, just block the UI. It's no big deal. It's actually pretty, pretty tricky. Um, but yes. Although, you know, to be fair, MSI, you can actually have two of them going um, through the UI sequence at the same time. You can actually have oh, the same MSI. So anyway, I, I'm, it's a reasonable feature request. I could see someone wanting that. The CA failed to compile when created. Um, must be included in list of support. Previous versions had this set to true. All right, cool. Sounds like something. This sounds like a regression in 3.8, then. Interesting. So, yeah, we probably should fix this in 3.8. It's not votive, is it? I guess it could be votive. Uh, we can change the templates. The templates did change? No, we didn't. Oh, well then. I, and I, yeah, that's weird. I, I'm trying to picture where the I, the build. Uh, well, we did. Yeah, but we didn't change the build that much from three seven. This should be really simple, right? Open Visual Studio, create a C sharp CA project. Look at the project. Figure out why it's failing. Yeah. Fix the template. It should be pretty straightforward. It's not voted. It's not in vote. I don't know where it's at. I don't know where you put it though. <laughs> put an MS build. Fine. <laughs> you can put it in templates, which makes it part of votive, but you know, whatever. Verify all it's in the template, but Okay, hey. fair enough. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Someone should go figure out where it's at and then we can read yes. it to you. It's somewhere in that space. <laughs> exactly. All right, and yes, you're right. It's not in votive. I appreciate you're probably a little sensitive to that, <laughs> having had to live in votive for a little while recently. <laughs> Fair enough. Not all VS SKUs are shipped in RC. Oh, yes, right. Oh, this yes. Is, I yes. open this to basically okay. say, go back. Um, yes. They did ship the Express for desktop. Um, with, sorry, they shipped Express for desktop <laughs> in RTM, but not before. Right. Sounds so. good. Totally should do that bug. Yep. Installation to a mapped drive. Oh, not this again. What? Opened to untriaged. All right. All right. What does your offering look like? All right. We're using the following combinations. We also changed the path plot variable and write to window. Wow. Plus, it's plus signs are kind of weird. We changed the installation folder like. And it comes from actually before install finalized deferred. What's the custom action? I don't. I mean, I, I think the, the root the, the root cause that we discussed when we closed the bug before, or opened the bug before, is that MSI doesn't have permissions to go poking around on on other machines because it's running as local system which has very limited network permissions yes yes in person equals no all right I don't know why people try to install network drives it's always a problem yeah yeah, so it doesn't surprise me at all that permission EX is going to fail that way. I think a log file would be more useful. But... Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> you asked for the authoring, and we got portions of authoring, which are very interesting parts. But then they do a crate folder. I mean, this is the crate folder that's interesting probably. <laughs> Not that we know where it's going to, but whatever. And the custom action before install finalized, impersonate no like I don't know what this custom action does. Right. right. Well I mean the original bug report has But this is error. this is this is it, right? This is the thing that's failing because yeah. that's that. 
That's the 25521. Yes. Can you see my mouse cursor? Move it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. So, yeah. So, that causes that. Yeah, all right. Uh, what do you want to do with this bug? Um, I want to say not supported. Okay. It's not Why possible. Do? But Permission EX can't can't touch the ACLs on a remote drive. It's just it's running its local system. It doesn't have the permissions. Unless the local machine has permissions to those ACLs. Yeah. Yes, right. Okay, I'm fine with that. So th maybe that's the thing. Ask them if, you know, tell them that they need to have the current machine to have access to those drives, and then it will work. should work. Probably will work. Because of the impersonate equals no and the deferred. Right. Right. All right, burn fails to remove MSUs on WoW 64. Have we not covered this bug already? Okay. We have. Uh, we opened it, and I uh, untriaged it to remove it from 3.8. Um, I don't think... Fine by me. I don't think it's a feature we have to worry about in 3.8. Sounds fine, especially since you sucked up the schedule, right? Well, that was part of it, yes. Fine. Fine by me. Make these guys work on read-only. Oh, this is open on triage. The other thing um, I went through, uh, this was, I, I, I just kept flashing back. We did something like this. We did something like this. Now, this was the thing that Eric oh, yes. did. Yes, to, to set the light. To reset Sorry. the, the right time. time. So it doesn't look like it's a modified file. Right, which is important for MSI purposes, uh, separate from read-only, which is, I think, kind of weird since usually you're installing to a protected path anyway. Um, anyway, so that, that was the purpose of opening for triage was to I'm go... I'm fine with that. Yeah, find it. I'm fine with this as a 3X feature, but uh, not a 3.8 feature. Sounds good to me. All right. Burn version info. I remember this conversation on Wix users, or on Wix yes. devs, and it's still flagged, and I still don't know... Oh... Everything is good. I remember the stupid resources stuff in DTF is a mess. <laughs> I spent a lot of time in there fixing that thing, and apparently I still didn't get it right. Um, so, yeah, we should fix this. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, yeah, someone needs to go verify that this is the right thing to do, but if that's the right thing to do, it's fairly straightforward. So, yeah, that. Wix standard BA. All right. Burn engine is removed. Is re removed add-on bundles when it shouldn't if add-ons are installed on a clean machine before the main related bundle. No. Install two add-ons. Install V158. Install that, upgrade, oh. Removes the add-on bundles. If first steps one and two. Install two add-on bundles. Install that, install 3.6 and 3.7? Shouldn't be. Okay. Not for the dependencies key. Okay. Um, yeah, we should take it in 3x. 
I, 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 this should work. Um, so if something's going wrong, I'm not exactly sure how to track it down. But I mean, someone should first verify that this works, and if it doesn't, that's the place to start. Okay. Net effects does not mention the newly added properties for four or five discovery. Sounds reasonable. Should fix that. Is that still true? Yeah. Um, hey, the yeah. redirect worked. That makes me happy. 11, 12, 13, 4. Hey, look, 4, 5. It's got some 4, 5 stuff. So, I think this might have been fixed. Cause that looks like a lot of 4, 5. Yeah. Yeah, I think this yeah. is fixed. I, yeah. Maybe, I, did I fix it? Someone fixed it. Sounds great. Someone fixed it. At this point in time, yes. good for them, whoever they were, and we're moving on. There you go. Burn layout features, downloads, only files required for that component for computer. Uh, this is oh. not a burn feature. This is a BA feature. Um, hmm. In, in other words, need... is this pay attention to the install conditions when you're doing yes. layout? Okay. Yes. And we, we explicitly don't do that because you don't um, uh, know what the target machine is that you're going to be doing the layout for, right? You burn a DVD, then you run around your network, and you have 32-bit 64 machines. You need everything, right. yeah. <laughs> which is what Jacob just said about the sneaker net install. So, um, why, you know, why would you run a layout just for one machine? I mean, okay, you would do it if you needed to invoke the gods to get internet access and then shut it off. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, I don't know. It's some kind of like... No, no, it, 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 you're right. It's just the invoke the gods is just made me... Yeah. Uh, um, no, no, I mean, yeah, so... I, I, the point is, you know, I want to do layout without pulling these things down. So this isn't even, this is this is actually saying, look at the machine, what you already detected, don't download that stuff. Right, right. Um, and then actually, you know, I'm thinking, you can do this, right? Because you do a detect, that'll tell you everything you need to do. Uh, a BA can do this. So I'd say we close this and go, a BA could do this, but we aren't going to do this in Wix standard BA. I mean, unless, I mean, it just, it, it's such an edge case that I don't think Wix standard BA should have it. I, I agree with that. But this scenario is totally supported. The thing he wants to do is totally supported. You just have to write a custom BA to do it. Because the custom BA can override what gets done in layout. And if you call detect, then you'll know that you don't need 4.0 in that, so you just say, skip the things that I detected, carry on. So, anyway. Cool? Good for me. All right. Get all quiet. I don't know. Crazy lockdown environments, or who knows what they're doing. Reg add value and exec XML file, write secure information to the log file. Ooh, really? Really? I what? Reg well, add value? Well, reg add value doesn't. Well, you can't. Yeah, I mean. That's, a, that's MSI. We're not fixing yeah. that. And and where are we writing? What is exec XML file? Well, um, yeah, I was going to say, we might already have fixed that. There was another bug where we were exposing Yeah, Yeah, and, and if it's not fixed already, then you can go to exec XML file, overwrite it, and I think you can overwrite it, and mark it as hidden. Yeah. So that... And John Cooper says they already do that. So, cool, let's make that bug go away. Cool? And we're not mucking with regad file value. That's not... No. Um, actually, I, I might like to keep the exec XML file thing open, because we do, we do this for other other custom action data properties. So you want to mark it high target by default? Well, I because guess I want to... think passwords are going to go through there more often than not? The, the, I hate doing that, because I hate making the, the robust log less useful. Yeah. Um, Things are incredibly undebuggable then. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, but we, we do that late. So, okay, the bug I recall was in COM+. Plus. Okay. Uh, but that's the only one we do it in. That's interesting. Yep. Well, uh, I, yeah, I, if you want to hide the target on exact XML, I guess we can. We just know we're losing debugging. But maybe that's the price to pay there. I'm going to think about that one. It's one of those we do it for one. Yeah, I agree with Jacob. It, it is. I don't like. I don't like hiding it. I don't like hiding it. Okay. Um. I I will I will yeah say we're, we don't hide it by default. Um because they're useful, uh, but you can hide it by blah, blah, blah. Yes. Okay, that works for me. Cool. Um, DTF zip file problem. Empty text files, get some error. Yeah, someone should fix that. Um, yeah, let's see, I remember this thread. Yeah, it goes on and on, and they share to repro it may be attached to the old bug yeah but like yeah some should fix that cool 3x yeah that's fine not print twice with you oh, I, that, this shouldn't be here but this is mine now that should not be an untriaged hey, we would have got to it today anyway look at that Install folder command line option puts incorrect value in registry. What? Appears to put the correct, not put. What? Oh, this, I think this is. Um, oh, package yeah. dev fallout. Right. This this was the problem with dev, dev 11 supporting. Um, wait, yeah. The package def has hard coded paths right now. Yeah. Um, dev 10 did not support the package def um, using one of their. Oh, it's a registry lookup. I, yeah. I did this. I did this. Um, yeah, package def has the registry lookup. Works for dev 11, does not work for dev 10. So I reverted the change. Um, this is one of those. Uh, if we, when we, hopefully, in 3.9, fork votive for the different versions, we could use a package def for, for 2010 that's different from the one for 2012 and 2013. So 2010 would not work if you change the install folder, but 2012 and 2013 would. Um, for 3.8, this is not fixable. Okay. I mean, it's fixable if we were to go hack this file and do the right thing and all that kind of good stuff, right? Um, it might be, yeah, you might be able to hack it after the fact, but... Right. Like, during install, you'd have to whack this, reg key, uh, you know, update this text file to do the right thing. Yeah, yeah. And no. <laughs> well, yeah, all right. Um, I... I we haven't had a lot of complaints about this, so I'm I'm fine with that. But yeah, I doubt most people change the install folder since you can only do it from the command line. Ooh, that makes it even less light. Yes, I'm I'm down with that. Three six is probably easier to change. It's even harder to change now, so I'm down with that. Okay. Earn fails to resume after restart. Yes. Don't we have another bug about run once having 256 characters? Uh, it's either we have more than one or we have one that we keep seeing. Yeah, well, this is another one of that. It's the same thing. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah, we do have another one because we've yes. already triaged it. We triaged that. The discussion of how we do a response file and... And with the that security time. of this thing and... Da, 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 da. Yeah, not fun. But yes, that problem. Um, I'll see if I can find. Yeah, 
and putting it in the, the resume file may be where we put it, but anyway, yes, that that's what that bug is. Totally agree. Okay. Um, this ignored thing, is this fixed yet? Um, I doubt it. All right, well then we should fix it. That makes me sad. Yeah, it makes me sad too since I'm the one who did it. That's right. Burn doesn't clean up dependencies. I'm not sure I care. Updated. I wish Neil was here to fight for this more, because I don't really care. Um, is it a problem if you end up installing a previous version? No, no, no. It's just, this is the root key. If you install it, then you uninstall it, this key ends up staying there. Basically, we don't clean up the root reg key. Interesting. Um, I, but if you want to fix it, I'd take it. So, you know, we could put it in 3x. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind if we were, you know... Appropriately both. clean? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. The logic for include files can't find drive root files. Really? Who puts their includes at the root of a drive? But okay. Uh, this is probably someone who's using drive mapping to get to different enlistments. Oh, yeah, that's probably right. I still kind of don't care, but... Really? The double backslash causes lookup to fail? Yeah, okay, that's that's not right. I don't know why it fails. Well, we, we shouldn't be using string and cat to combine paths, so... Oh, yeah, there's that. I, I actually just fixed that bug <laughs> in Wix 4. Right, right. Um, I saw that, and I was like, oh, yeah. Well, I don't know why we did that. Um, um, sure, we should fix it. <laughs> right, okay, whatever. Twenty twelve macro points to twenty ten in oh yeah, that's probably didn't surprise me. Yeah, I kinda that that's why I, I added the twenty thirteen feature of how we need to provide templates. Because right now we have one set of templates that go to twenty ten and twenty twelve. And I didn't want to continue the non working templates for uh twenty thirteen as well. Uh, I'm okay with taking this into 3.8. It's part of the same. All right. Part of you the want same to take mark. it there? I think it's be great to get that fixed. Yep. Torch schema exception on custom tables without a set attribute. Wow. <laughs> I love these comments down here. Please post your custom table definition. That was supposed to be please post your custom table definition. Where on SourceForge, it ate it. Where tiny bugs oh. did not eat it. <laughs> hey, things work. How nice. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Unspecified set attributes. Set equals blank instead of not specifying anything at all. Yeah? Uh, should we, we should probably look at this. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Oh, look, and here's the table definition. Is it? Yeah, that's the table definition right there. Yeah, it's a little prettier looking on SourceForge, but... Oh, well, I think we lost the new lines or something. Yeah. Anyway, yes, that. Oh, edit comment. Can't do that yet. Anyway, so 3x? Yeah. Where are we at? Oh, uh, let's do the last one. Progress bar gets to 100% before the install is completed. 
by enabling the, I think I tracked it down to acquire progress is greater than 100%. MSP packages, that's very possible. Has to be embedded for this problem to occur. Hmm. Yeah, we should look at this. Okay, I'm fine with this in 3x. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, progress shouldn't be wrong. Bugs me when progress is wrong, so we should go figure that out. All right, so if I hit refresh, 614. And there's a couple of them that haven't been done. Let's see here. Um, oh, wait, this one. Old format. Updated or deleted? Oh. I don't know. I thought that would be easy, but uh, maybe not. Um, all right, so 614, what was that, 20-some bugs? I still have a couple that I have to update. Yes, these three. Four. One, two, three, four. So that's almost 30 bucks. Yep. Cool. So 30 bugs, and we're still not under 600. <laughs> Getting there. Uh, yes. All right. So, oh, wow. How'd this happen? What's this? That's not Ooh. good. Oh, well, that helps. <laughs> I think you can get rid of that bug. Yeah. We migrated an empty bug. I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Neil opened it too. Where is he when you want to make fun of him? Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyway. As opposed to making fun of the person who migrated the empty bug? That that was totally automated. I mean, tell me you would have seen that bug empty. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well. yeah, there we go then. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we had another successful round of bugs triaged. 614, probably more like 611. 2, 3, 4, actually maybe 610. And we'll pick us up again next week. I will try not to be busy next Tuesday so we can maybe get a, a double next week and make even more progress. So, anyway... Have a wonderful rest of your day, night, morning, however it goes for you. Cheers.